Hello there. My name is Jesse. I heard that this site is where people would submit their stories that were, well, creepy. I've read a lot here, mostly the stories that you would read about monsters, supernatural things, serial killers, and even haunted items. I've heard that most of these stories are actually true, but I never did believe it. I didn't think stuff like that existed until, well, the Mirror Man. You see, I go to high school in suburban Massachusetts. It's really what you would expect of a normal high school to be. Regular classes, everyone has their own group of friends. Y y you know, the usual stuff. No, the school isn't haunted. No, it wasn't built on a Native American burial ground. Nothing like that. It's a completely normal school, but lately, let's say maybe two or three weeks ago, a rumor had started floating around school. But it wasn't a usual rumor of who's cheating on who, or who's pregnant. No, this was more of those urban myth rumors you would hear about. The guy who started this rumor, let's, let's call him Tim, uh, he was a well-known guy. He was that one guy in school everyone liked, and one day he came in with an almost triumphant smirk on his face as if he was parading around. One of my friends, Dan, had went up to him and asked what he was so happy about, in which he responded, I beat the mirror man, as if that was some sort of achievement. To which Dan asked, Who's the mirror man? Basically, since I don't want to keep doing this, who said what thing, I myself will tell you who the mirror man is. The mirror man is quote-unquote spirit, who will appear if you say the words mirror man into a mirror three times when you're alone. Now, I know what you're thinking. Another one of those bogus mirror tricks, right? We all tried the Bloody Mary thing when we were kids. We all found out it was bullshit, and that no ghost was going to pop up, ultimately leaving us disappointed, but relieved at the same time. That nothing was going to come out of the mirror and kill you. And at first, I thought the same thing about this. Tim must be pulling a prank or something, right? Our whole lunch table gave him our skeptic responses in which he replied, Well, if you don't believe me, then why don't you try it for yourself? A few of us looked at each other and nodded and said okay. And then we went back to eating our lunches. The rest of the day was pretty normal after that. I went home, I did my homework, and that was it. My mom and my dad were away for the week on a business trip, so I was home alone. Though I didn't mind, because at least I still had my dog to keep me company. Time went on, and eventually it was nighttime. I had just finished brushing my teeth in front of the mirror when that thought of the rumor came up in my head again. I figured I would do it, if only to prove that it was really nothing. I turned off the lights, stood in front of the mirror, took a deep breath, and said the words. Mirror man, mirror man, ah, mirror man. I waited for what seemed like a good minute in the dark. Nothing had happened. I knew it was fake from the start, smiling to myself. I went to bed, waiting to rub it into Tim's face the next day. The morning came along with school that day. The first half went pretty normally. Then it came to lunch. We were all there talking about what we'd usually do. Then came in Tim, only something was different. The usual aloof look on his face had faded into an expression of worry and deep thought. He was never like this before. He sat down slowly. We had all asked him what was wrong. He was silent for a moment before saying, I, I, I saw him again. We asked who it was that he saw eager to find out what was doing this to our friend. He only gave a shaky reply, the mirror man. I rolled my eyes at this. I thought he was pulling some stunt to get attention again. The mirror man isn't real. I tried it last night, I said. Tim turned to me and shouted at me. He is real, and I saw him again last night. He's coming for me. He said he would. This had caught the attention of the other tables in the area as well as the teachers. The entire cafeteria went virtually silent as he shouted, He's coming for me! Yet again. One of the better known teachers had grabbed him by the shoulders, escorted him out of the cafeteria. The fuck was going on here? Fast forward a few days later, 
the rumor of the Mirror Man had spread throughout the school, onto the internet, to everywhere locally. It had become a craze by the time my parents had gotten home from their trip. I had told them everything. I still continued to do the Mirror Man trick every night, but... No matter what I would do, I'd never see the supposed spirit that everybody was talking about. However, many other people in the school had apparently seen him even if they didn't do the mirror trick. They would just be staring at their reflection, fixing their hair, whatever, and then out of nowhere their reflection would just distort into the mirror man. But why wouldn't he show up for me? I didn't understand it, and it frustrated me. On the morning of last Monday, the entire school had been called into the auditorium. This would never happen unless something really good or really bad would happen, and with the recent news I sure as hell knew, it wasn't the former. The principal of the school had stepped out with a grave look on his face. He walked up to the podium and... Tim had died. The police had found his body in his room after they'd broken down the door. I couldn't believe my ears. Was this really happening? No, it... it couldn't be. How had he died? Had he really killed himself over this whole mirror man thing, or was something else going on here? Later that night, I signed onto the school's website. The school had a chat system implemented where students could contact other students about when papers were due, help on projects, and things like that. I was chatting with my friends and other kids about the day's events, then suddenly, a message popped up. Guest Mirror Man has logged onto the chat room. I looked at the message for a few seconds. Was this some kind of fucking joke? Nobody was laughing if it was. He said nothing when all the other students called him out. All I did was post a link to some picture in the chat. And a moderator banned him immediately afterwards. I clicked on the link apart from my better judgment. And I wish I hadn't. What I saw in that picture will be sure to haunt me for the rest of my life. It was Tim, but it was his corpse, pale and lifeless. His jaw was hanging open as if he was screaming. There were dozens of shards of glass dug into his skin, including two larger ones that were stuck into his eyes. There was blood everywhere, and carved into his chest were two parallel lines lined up vertically with an X, slightly overlapping them. I was appalled, and... I began to cry. He was a kid, for fuck's sake. Who did this to him? Why did they do this to him? Instinctively, the first thing I thought was... The Mirror Man. Was he really... real? Did he really do this to Tim? All these questions buzzed in my head. I started feeling nauseous. I ripped the cord out of my computer, making the screen go black. I just sat and cried there for a while. Over the next few days, things only got worse. More kids were missing. More ended up dead. Each time, it was done. A picture of their corpse ended up on the school website under the screen name Mirror Man. Even though he was repeatedly banned each time he did this, he always kept coming back somehow. Eventually, I just stopped clicking. I knew what the picture was as well as everyone else did. The school was shut down by the police soon after that. The FBI started questioning people after that. One thing I kept in my mind the entire time was, why couldn't I see the mirror man? I shouldn't even be asking this. I, could, I should just consider it a blessing and leave it alone, but I wanted to know why. One final time, I went to my bathroom. One final time, I turned the lights off and looked in the mirror. And one final time, I had said, mirror man, mirror man. Mirror Man. My voice grew shaky, unstable, with each time my mind was about to snap. I needed to know. And finally, I saw him. My reflection started to distort. It was replaced by a man. He was wearing a pair of jeans and an olive green hooded sweatshirt, but his clothes were bloodstained. There were shards of glass sticking into him and impaling him like a fucking pincushion. His mouth was sewn shut. I couldn't see the rest of his face, but in his hand, there was a bloody shard of mirror. I was petrified. How does one react to a serial killer staring him down? 
I didn't think this could be real. It had to be one big, fucked up dream. Or a hallucination, or something. I... I took a step back from the mirror, my heart thumping. And surprisingly, he also took a step away. Being cautious, I took another step away, and so did he. Where I moved, he moved in perfect sync. As if I was looking in a mirror. I closed my eyes and shook my head, and there I was again. Well, there was my face, but my clothes changed. I was wearing an olive green sweatshirt and jeans. And there was a piece of bloodied mirror in my hand. I looked down and it was all true. There I was, wearing the exact same thing that the mirror man had worn just a moment ago. No, no, this, this had to be another trick, I thought. The mirror man was fucking with my head. Then I saw a blood trail leading out the bathroom door. I reluctantly followed it. And it led to the door of my parents' bedroom. I kept whispering in a hushed tone as if I was pleading, No, 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 over and over and over again. I had slowly opened the door. And there were both my parents. Broken shards of glass going through them. Two through the eyes and the two lines with the X on their bodies. I knew the reason why I couldn't see him now. It's because I could always see him. I was the mirror man. I had done all those horrible things. It was me.